For the first quest of this channel, I ask myself, can I, me, Jinado, a noob with absolutely no skills in woodworking, build a workbench for 100 bucks? Well, let's find out, my friend. Welcome to the Shed Creative Workshop. To start off this project, here are the materials I bought. 5 2x8x10 by by and 1 2x10x12. By by That's it! That's all you need to complete this quest. The first step of this build is simple. Cut three planks in the middle and then split them in two. This gives me 12 pieces that I glued together to make the bench top. me uh, you were on the ceiling <laughs> okay so I put you on the ceiling because I want you to see down here first one the next step is to glue all of the plank together using my good friend the lepage wood glue This is done. The bench top is ready to play. Ta da! But before I had the visit of Sandy Baby, aka the Big Boss, aka Sandrine, the little girlfriend. A big boss. <laughs> C'est vrai, ça. A big boss. Sometimes she will be asking pretty obvious question, just like this. What, what was your question about the top of this? Will uh, it be? Uh... You gonna sable the table? <laughs> yes, I will. Sometimes she's working around the house, fighting an army of uh, mosquito. Uh, the mosquito, dear. <laughs> Round one, fire. And sometimes she's feeding me with a very good homemade smoothie. Living on the edge. Thank you very much. Oh. Very good smoothie. She's the best. Mucho kisses for San Willy. That was my question. Okay. Any other question? <laughs> What do you think about the wood on your fur? <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. All he cares about is his ball.
Now for the legs, the process is the same. You cut, you split and you glue. I do this using the last 2x8 that I bought. With the legs all dried up, I now need to remove the bevel that you find on dimension number and make those legs perfectly square. It's a small but important step to make the workbench look perfect. fit my legs in the bench top, I'm using a type of joinery that's called the Mortise Antenna. It's basically uh, like we see in French, le papa d'un moment. Mommy and daddy are getting it on. To make the tunnel, I simply cut the thickness of my bench top, which is almost three and a half inch from one side of my legs, just like that. To make the mortise, I used pretty much all of the brain power I had left that day. I use a drill to make holes in the bench top. I use a router. I use wood scissors. And I use a lot of my time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's not perfect, but it's uh, pretty good for a first try, you know. It fits uh, pretty well. And it's not too tight, not too loose. And now the next step which is we moved when i started this project i was planning of doing it in this tiny itty bitty shed but then a friend of ours vero aka the land queen told us she had a small apartment in the middle of the woods to rent for a very low cost. At first, I wasn't really sure about it, 
But then I saw this shed. It was love at first sight. This shed was a storage shed. So in order to make this my workshop, I actually built a metal shed, which I bought online for 700 bucks. That shed became the new storage shed. Then I made a makeover of the wooden shed, taking all of the stuff out, cleaning it and reorganizing it. And then voila, three months later, we have a new and updated workshop and we are ready to finish the workbench project. When we left, we only had time to finish one leg. So now it's time to finish the other three and cut them to their final length. As you can see here, I use a better and faster technique to make the mortise. I use the multi-tool from Rigid. Now let's make this workbench more sturdy and stop the wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Using the only 2x10x12 that I bought, I made four support pieces and joined them to the leg using the Mortis and Tenon joint retainer. With all of this cutting and fitting done, I was ready for the final assembly of the workbench. To easily move the workbench, I stuck four wheels under this bad boy. It's going fast. We're almost done. One last planing session of the bench top, and then I send it all of the part of the workbench, starting from 80 grit to 220 grit. I added a little bevel to the bench 
using my palm round. And then I finished the weight bench with two coats of salmon gloss varnish with a light sanding between each coat. The final step was to add a big and a small vise to the weight bench. I bought those on Amazon. They were pretty simple to install. I only had to make the wood part of the vise which I did using ash wood. Cutting them to be exactly the same width and length and then fixing the vise to the workbench. And we're done. We're f done. We're f done. done. We're done. We're done. We're f done. Oh yeah. We're Before doing the final reveal, here's a very important and serious segment of the video that I call just the tip. What is the perfect height for a workbench? Well, when you're standing up, the top of your workbench needs to be as high as your pinky's knuckle, this one. And uh, that's what they say on the interwebs. That's it. This was my tip. I gave you just the tip. I'm very happy with this project. I learned a lot of stuff and a lot of new techniques. It's not perfect, but it will do what it is intended to do. Here's how much it cost me. $97 for the wood planks, $60 for the wheels, $42 for the small vise, and $105 for the big vise. For a big total of 304 Canadian dollars or 222 US dollars. This quest is a success. With the wood planks only costing me $97, I achieved the goal of building a workbench under 100 bucks. During this quest, I gained 126 XP. The reward for completing this quest is the soldering station. Let me know in the comments what should be my next project using this reward. I am now a level 2 with the same title, Noob Woodworker. I will keep this title until I get to level 10. Finally, I would like to thank Olage Café Plenaire for the support they gave me launching this channel. You might wonder what they did to help me, eh? Well, they gave me clothes to look like a well-behaved boy on camera. They gave me this outfit and the outfit for my first video, which was in French, and pretty much all of the outfit that you will see in my next video. If you want to look as good as me, you should take a look at their website. They have everything you need. Clothes, outdoor gear, e-bike, bike, bike parts, everything for outdoor they have and they ship it to your door. Fantastic. You can even go to their physical store and get the best coffee in the north. The orange lid baby. Don't forget Olodge.ca and Olodge Café Plein Air on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of The Shed Creative Workshop. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, The Shared Creative Workshop. Okay, my friend. See you soon. Bye. T'es-tu parti? Bye. Bye, il est pas parti encore. Bye. Ok, bye. Bye pour vrai, là.